Hey, what's going on guys? Go Mega Games a year. Last video we ended up with implementing the basic game loop and starting from this video we're going to be implementing the Monte Carlo research algorithm itself. So I've made a new file called mcds.py here and this is the, the file where we're supposed to be working in for the next few videos basically and then we'll link this code here to our main tic-tac-toe game implementation files. So without further ado, let's actually start. So here would be implementing our multi carrot research algorithm algorithm implementation. And we need to import a couple of packages here as well. So we we need to import math and also a random pack package both are standard python packages so no need to install them okay and now the most essential uh part of the algorithm itself without this part it's not going to be working basically so we need to define the tree node class so uh we have this tree node class definition so this would be the class called tree node and it would be taken well let's actually take let's actually create the constructor here so this is the class constructor or in simple words uh we want to create tree node class instance okay so there is the standard method that is called def in it like this and it would be taking the self instance, obviously, like whatever method in the uh, in the class in Python. Also, it would be taking the board uh, the board uh, instance. So this this board is the instance of the board class from our tic tac toe game. So uh, the instance of this board class. So it's taken here. And also uh, would it, would it be taking the parent node if available? Well, obviously for the root node this parent would be equal to none, but well, that's the general structure of uh, of a tree node basically. So uh, now we need to initialize uh, all the inner fields of this tree node class uh, to make sure not miss anything. So the first one, uh, we, want, we want to initialize uh, associated board state so it would be equal like self dot board equals to the board so every node well, let's say we will just create in a node and we need to make sure that uh, we do associate a current board state that represents the current position within our tic-tac-toe game with sites to move uh well basically with only with the sites to move and that's it and it would be stored here in self dot board variable uh, another thing to consider, uh, we need to, to find out whether the node is terminal. Uh, uh, so let's say terminal mm, well, is, is no terminal uh, and it's a flag. So uh, by saying terminal, uh, uh, I obviously mean like the game might be either won or drawn as it was implemented already in the previous parts within this series so we can simply say if and self dot board dot is win or self dot board dot is draw so in this case uh, we need to set uh, so in this case we have a terminal node which means that the game is over basically so let's say self dot is terminal would it be equal to true and otherwise otherwise so else here we have a non-terminal we have a non-terminal node so here we say self dot is terminal would it be equal to false. Uh, another thing to consider, uh, we want to initialize parent, par parent node 
if available. So we need to say self dot parent would it be equal to parent. So this parent uh, is the instance of the Trino class. So in case of the root node, it would be none, obviously, because the root node doesn't have any parent nodes. But for all the ch uh, child nodes for, for, for the children, uh, this uh, parent node would be the instance of the node that has created the current node, basically. So uh, literally, it's parent here. OK, uh, another thing important uh, variables to have a look at. We need uh, uh, to initialize the number uh, of node visits and let's say self dot visits and uh, it would be zero because we didn't yet do anything to our node and also we need to initialize the total score of the node and again like assuming the back, back propagation we would be updating uh, both number of, of visits and the total score for every single node respectively but at the moment we just need to initialize them to zeros and last but not least is actually the uh, children so we want to initialize current uh, current nodes children and this would be the type of python dictionary so i can simply say self dot children would it be equal to an empty dictionary okay okay seems like i forgot one more important thing to consider here uh another uh variable it's called is fully expanded is fully expanded uh let's say set uh is fully expanded flag and here well let's say set or in it uh, is terminal is node terminal flag so what the uh, what this is fully expanded flag means it means that well, let's say uh, let's say we have uh, let's say we have a node and it has some children so by saying fully expanded, it means that uh, all the children this node has, has been created. Well, uh, in Monte Carlo research, uh, it's not done just instantly. So it's done mm, on demand, let's say. Well, it's not really a scientific term, but I'm just trying to explain this as, as easy as possible. So anyway, uh, at the very beginning, we need to set this is fully expanded flag uh, equals to is terminal so uh, obviously when we start we have uh, a non-terminal uh, flag and uh, that's the reason why we are setting this is fully expanded flag to the value of is terminal flag so let's actually do, do this by saying self dot is fully expanded equals to self dot is terminal okay uh well now let's actually try to run the code it's not going to be given any output yet but just to make sure that no typos there so more carolor research dot pi okay it seems like it's working so from now on we can actually import this Monte Carlo research uh module to our tic-tac-toe file and yeah probably we'll try to create the instance of this Trino class just to give you an idea of how it looks like. So here I want to say from Monte Carlo research, I want to import all, all available there, this star. And then in the main driver, instead of going for a game loop, let's actually try to create a tree node instance. So we can say, let's, let's create a root node first. So the root would be equal like um, tree node, and we need to pass the board. Uh, so this uh, uh, the board instance is the first argument, and also none uh, uh, as the reference for the parent of this node because the root doesn't have any parents. And well, let's actually try to print 
the inner fills of this root node so print root and dictionary like this uh, so python3 tic-tac-toe.py okay and here we go so we have all this uh, sensitive inner fills of the node class been printed and obviously here we don't have any children now if we want to create some uh, child nodes with this root node we can do this simply by saying like root dot children and well let's let's just add some mm, some custom example here so let's just say i don't know child one obviously we would be doing this a little bit different uh in the Monte Carlo research uh, algorithm implementation uh, when it comes to expanding the nodes and uh, creating the child instances but just just for clarity I want to say so this would be equal to tree node and again like the board state here would be obviously different but again like for simplicity I'll reuse the same board state but again like this board state would be something like I don't know let's say board make move and like one one so it it, it, will, it would already be a different board position here and now we have the reference to the parent node for this one for this child in particular and this would be the root so this is how it's done and now we just print this up one more time we already have one child available okay so which means that now we can also print uh say root dot children and we can print this child one and its dictionary and now we have so this is already a different board object well we didn't yet do anything to this is terminals really expanded and all and all this stuff but also we have the parent which is the inst which is this, this this is the reference to the root node and it also has children as well so this is the core difference between the medical research algorithm and say minimax that we need to make sure that we would be keep uh, that we would keep track of the entire of the entire game tree uh within the memory and the reason for doing that uh is the following so we just need to make sure that during the algorithm we would be updating this node visits the total score uh well actually no visits and the total score and that's kind of it and this sort of a uh, board instance references just serve as you know like kind of unique identifiers for, for this sort of a nose well anyway uh having this uh having this tree node class allows us to create and to expand uh the entire game tree from the root node and uh expand this uh, uh, as long as we need basically with the within the memory so that's that's the main difference sorry guys i'm not really that that good at explanation uh the theory behind this but i just want to ensure you that i'm i'm reusing the code that is available at so-called monte Carlo research uh module I just just want to show you this Monte Carlo tree search by Pi. I've altered this code slightly bit to fit our tic tac toe purpose, but anyway, you can find the original code here in this GitHub repo. So if we just have a look at this Monte Carlo tree search of Pi, you see like this tree node that we've just implemented and also the algorithm related code as well but again like uh i've reworked this a little bit to to fit so this is kind of like the general form of the algorithm uh it's not uh, related to tic-tac-toe in particular but uh i've changed this so it would be tic-tac-toe specific let's say so so that's that's kind of it but again like just just to make sure that the code is not something that I've handcrafted on my own. This is something that we can trust because this is the PyPy library. So I think this should be right.
well at least it works so it's already kind of good a uh, good sign for us okay guys so this is it from my side i hope you enjoyed this tutorial and in the next video we'll start implementing some core methods uh within the Monte Carlo research class that we'll create in the next video to actually uh, write the logic for searching the proper notes within our game tree. Hope to see you 